Hi everyone. Yes, we were talking about uh, on the recent Lighting Essentials um, meeting, uh, looking at the images and doing the critiques. We we're talking a little bit about highlight painting and something that I do. So let me show you what I do, uh, highlight and shadow painting um, on this image. This image was taken on a 6D. It's been through Lightroom where we straightened up uh, the uh, keystoning effect here. And we also darken the sky just a, a very little bit. But I want to show you how uh, with highlight painting I can get a little bit more pizzazz out of this picture. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer above the background. I'm going to call it highlight. Uh, and I'm going to set the to set the uh, layer definition to highlight uh, to uh, overlay. I'm going to create a second one also on overlay and call it shadow. Okay, so I have my two layers and uh, notice that I put shadow above highlight. Uh, I do that for a reason. I, I do my highlights and I can bring them down with my shadow. Um, we, these are their own individual layers and the way they act with the layer below because of the the uh, layer um, uh, attributes that I've given it uh, are pretty interesting. So I'm going to start out with uh, some highlights here on the highlight channel. I'm going to use my brush uh, opacity of 10% as you can see right here and I'm using a soft edge brush very soft edge brush. With that that I'm going to paint in these a little bit dark how these trees are paint this in and we'll grab those edges a little bit especially the edges of the tree edges where the the leaves are catching a little bit of natural light anyway all right and there we go uh, then down in these bushes here I'm going to lighten them up uh, you can hear the mouse clicking maybe and you can see that I'm adding just a little bit that's why I have it at 10 for opacity I only want to add a little bit to this Go off into the grass, open this grass up just a little bit, and then back here in that parking lot right there. Get that gravel a little bit brighter in the in the parking lot back there. Uh, signs on the side of this, this building could be a little bit brighter, so I'm just going to hit the Coca-Cola and the burgers and then this little bit of, of uh, checkerboard here. And now I'll show you what I've done. Off, on off on you can see pretty substantial okay uh, I'm gonna highlight up the front of mr. Uh, uh, Uncle Sam here with the chili pepper also gonna lighten this chili pepper right there just a little bit anything in the front here need eh, I can go down the front of this just just a tiny bit like that uh, and then I'm going to do something kind of a, a little bit different I'm gonna make my brush bigger and I'm gonna brush from uh, Uncle Uncle Sam here I'm gonna brush out just brush out just a little bit and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next now uh, I want to darken this driveway up front so that I give my gravel uh, a reason to be there so we're gonna go to shadow and we're going to change to black as my color uh, I'm still at 10% but now I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna darken this road right in here just a little bit so that starts to make the gravel stand out a little bit on where I, where I want it up there. Uh, make a real small brush and come right down the side of uh, Uncle Sam here. Get a little more punchy contrast out of him right on that side of him right there. Uh, let's come right down the back leg here. It doesn't do much that way. Uh, I'm going to darken this right under the tree here because I think it should be dark from the shade of the tree. And this dirt's a little bit bright, so I'm going to bring this dirt down right here. All right. Uh, anything that needs else that needs to be darkened? No. So I'm going to now take my brush from the outside and come in with the black at 10%. Outside, coming in. All right. So what have I done with the black? There we go. And if I turn them both off, there's the original image. And there's with the black and the white. Original image, black and the white. Okay, that's highlight. what I call highlight and shadow painting. 
Uh, be judicious, be very careful. 10% black and white on layers set at overlay. All right, hope that helps and uh, see you next time.